Good morning, third grade. Welcome to your second day of distance learning. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, and the following are all of your assignments and their directions for today. Remember, you can do these assignments in any order. First, we're going to go over is ELA. You're going to be continuing to work on different kinds of sentences. Today, you're going to be reading sentences and adding the correct punctuation. Remember, a declarative sentence or a statement requires a period, exclamatory sentences, which are said with a lot of feeling and emotion, use an exclamation point, and interrogative sentences or questions use a question mark. I'll add a photo below of what this sheet should look like. When you're done with this sheet, you can move on to iReady. When you log on to iReady Reading, you'll see that I've assigned something for you to work on. Today, you'll be practicing reading multisyllable words with prefixes. Remember, a prefix is a part of a word added to the beginning. The prefixes in today's lesson will be in and in. During this lesson, you'll have to sort words based on their prefix, find words and sentences, fill in the blanks to make sentences make sense, and find the word that matches the word read aloud. When you're done with this assignment, you can work on your book club book, or you can go into your learning path. We're going to try to have our book club book and worksheet finished by the end of this week. Next, we're moving on to math. First, you're going to watch the video I created all about area. When you're done with that, you're going to log on to iReady and get started on the interactive practice. In this practice, you'll be finding the area of different shapes. Be sure to pay attention to the unit that's used in each question. Some areas are measured in square inches, square feet, square centimeters, or even square meters. When you've completed the interactive practice, you can move on to your learning plan. Next is handwriting. Remember, we're trying to work on two pages each day in our handwriting cursive packet. If you need help with any letters, I have attached a video to that assignment. Next, I'm gonna go over your science assignment for today. You're going to be reading all mixed up in your packet and answering the questions that go along with it. This assignment is all about mixtures and solutions, which we've learned about in the past. So try to refresh your memory with what mixtures and solutions are. Again, be sure to answer the questions as you go. We also will be doing some growth mindset work today. You'll be watching the Class Dojo video all about Mojo and answering the question I posted in the assignment. This video might look familiar. We watched it during our Growth Mindset Week All About Challenges. Remember, our quote of the week this week is, I can do hard things. This is a challenge, something new and different. So watch the video to see how Mojo responds to challenges. And last, let's talk about music. Mr. Schaefer has created his own Google Classroom where he's posting your assignments for music. I've put a link in our page to his Google Classroom in case you need help finding it. Your assignment today is to watch the video he posted all about instrumentals and write about each instrument you see. Finally, let's go over our question of the day. Since we're learning about area in math, I thought we should do a question about area. Since I've been home, I've noticed that there are some places in my house that I see square units. I've posted a photo below of one area of my house with square tiles. I was able to find the area of a section of that place. Do you have any square tiles or square units in your house? Post in the question of the day. Where do you see square units in your house? And can you find the area of that space? Maybe your kitchen floor has square tiles. What is the area of your kitchen floor? Or perhaps your bathroom countertop uses square tiles. Comment in the question. 
and fill in the blanks. My kitchen floor, bathroom countertop is blank square units. If the space is too big to find the area of the entire floor, wall, or countertop, you can do a smaller space like I did. I can't wait to see your results. Have a great day.